Today we're gonna speak about the patch 7.0.8 where there are huge changes to how the smokes work. So if you want to know my opinion about it, welcome. To the lab. We're gonna be talking about the newest patch note. There are some changes that are affecting the gameplay in a big way, but not exactly. So we're gonna talk about that, all of that. I only wear the glasses to look smart in the intro, so I'm gonna get this off. Um, all right, let's get let's get into it. Let's get into it. So first, we're gonna read the patch notes in general, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think about it, uh, about all the changes. the The biggest changes are the smokes. So we're gonna probably start with that. Um, so general updates. This is not important because that only changes the agent select screen and like the, we're gonna have free rows now. Woohoo! But the agent updates on smoke visual updates are actually pretty big. So, some of the key smokes can manipulate the play space for a good chunk of time and we feel it is important to be able to make the right decisions in the moment. We've added audio and visual cues at the end of our longer lasting smokes to give you a bit of a heads up for when the smoke will disappear. Smokes play an audio and visual cue for 1.5 seconds before they are about to fade. The following agent smokes have been affected. Astra, Brimson, and Omen, because Harbor and Viper already give you um, this kind of information in the game already. Just saying, because no one is complaining about that, right? So I'm, I'm going to steal some content from Rem, because he has access to PBE, and I don't. So I'm going to steal his content and show you how this actually looks in game. So um, this is the before. Uh, and this is after. As you can see, it has an animation and a sound. The same goes for the Brimstone. And of course, for the Omen. So all of this is making the game easier? Not really. So, and I'm saying this as a person who actually has, I think, I, I have a fantastic inner clock when it comes to knowing when a smoke um oh my god the stinger um well, i know when the smoke will disappear like i literally have many occasions on my stream we can clip it down where i say three two one smoke down even if it's not my smoke like i just have that inner clock that tells me when should i be paying attention to the smoke going down now does this skill having this skill makes me mad that now we don't have to get that skill in the first place in the game. I don't, I'm not mad about that. Because the skill is pretty, like, minimalistic in nature, but it takes a long-ass time to learn. So it makes the game more accessible and easier to understand. And Valorant, in general, goes into a direction where the game, game's transparency is the most important. Like, the entire game design when it comes to Valorant, is about transparency. This is why the smokes have a shape. They're not, like, random, like they were in the past in CS. The mollies are not spreading randomly in different directions, so you never know where the damage is going, right? All of, the sm all of the mollies are circular, right? So you know exactly how the range is going to look like, and if you're sitting in a corner and wondering if this is going to hit you or not, you know exactly, because everything in this... Um, in this game is about consistency, transparency, and visual clarity. And having smokes that make a sound when they are going out, right, makes the game more accessible because there's so much stuff you have to pay attention in this game that having this audiovisual cue just kind of deletes this artificial, artificial um, barrier between players who sacrifice sacrifice thousands of hours or um, players who just kind of started playing the game but it's a skill that is not really like important I'm actually happy that this skill is gonna be uh, irrelevant now because now we're gonna have more focus being put on actually playing the game properly how many times you see a player that is like dying because he didn't know that the smoke is gonna fade you know like and it's not a decision, like, you could always argue, oh, but you should have your gun out and always be ready for it. But in this case, you should always be ready for it, but at least you're gonna get alerted that it's actually going down when you're, lo like, rotating towards sight and have no idea how, how long the smoke was there, right? Why should you have a disadvantage when you're rotating and trying to, like, get onto sight, right? You know what I mean? Like, that skill 
You don't even have an opportunity to use that skill of yours. Even if your clock, inner clock is good, when you're rotating from A to B, you don't know how long the smokes are already there. So you have no idea when those smokes will go down, specifically when it comes to opponent smokes, because your opponent smokes are not even marked on the map. So you will never know when exactly were they planted there. And since brimstone smokes are 19.25 seconds long, you might actually lose a retake because you're wondering... Do I have 10 seconds now? Or do I have 2 seconds? 5 seconds? How should I approach the smoke? You never know when you're rotating and trying to retake a site. You know? So, uh, this is actually um, incredibly important. You know? Mm, and, yeah, what else? Uh, is my... Yeah, my, my mouth is a little bit off, I think. Lul? Wait. Let me deactivate and activate my camera again. Hopefully that fixes it. Haha. <laughs> no, it didn't. Well, this video is going to be weird. Um, so, let's go back to the patch notes. There are some other changes that were happening as well. Uh, I don't think I had a lip sync off when I was uh, streaming before. So that's kind of awkward. All right. So we have other changes. Um, ability equipping sounds are no longer audible to allies. And this is in line with the changes of the smokes, I think, right? So essentially what is happening here is that when, for example, Omen smokes, starts smoking and he's standing next to you, you're going to hear typically the sounds like whoosh, whoosh, whatever, right? Or someone is equipping a molly, it's going to make the sound of equipping a molly. All of the sound is is creating a clutter of sounds. For me, that's incredibly important. Like, I'm known for turning off voice lines because they are annoying for me and there's too much audio clutter for me to actually, like, focus up. So I'm turning down most of them. And this is this is a blessing for me. This... Lothar this... Senpai. <laughs> I... No. I can't hold it anymore. Don't, don't hold Ooh. it anymore. So... This makes it even easier for me because now I'm able to um, focus more on what's actually happening in the game because of that. So this is a very, very good change that I think should be welcomed by everyone in the game. Both, actually. The audio and the smokes. Like, I do think that those two changes are just inc incredibly uh, good for, for the game and for the players, you know? And the other changes that we have here are not really important, like this pl Premiere is like whatever, good change, but not important. It doesn't really change much for the, for the game itself. Store updates, not important. Um, Deadlock gets changes, but are actually in the other direction that they should, so it's not a buff, it's actually a nerf. You have now no ways of opening automatic doors on Bind and Breeze, so that's good, you know? And uh, Neon on Fracture, well, thanks for bug fixing, I guess. But we can't play Fracture right now in competitive, so not really important now, is it? But hey, I like when they fix uh, bugs. Uh, and that's about it. Like, um, there's nothing really, anything else that is important in this patch. But those two changes in the smokes and the audio are actually incredibly crucial for the gameplay. And they are actually changing the gameplay a lot simplifying the gameplay which is important because the game is incredibly complicated like i played some cs again uh you know i have thousands of hours in cs in, in general in different cs's right and but i didn't play it for such a long time that i forgot how it is to play cs so when i played cs2 on the release day or the second day and i can remember i um i literally felt like this game is just so simple like it's 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 solely focused on movement and shooting because the utility is just so minimal, specifically on ranked, right? At pro level, of course, I'm saying the game is simple, but the gameplay is just so limited in the amount of stuff that is happening and the combinations and what what can happen in the game that when you compare CS to Valorant, like you don't have to pay attention to so many things at once, you know? And this is why. Changes like the smokes and the in the audio are in my eyes very welcomed. I think those are great changes for the community, and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy uh, those changes as much as as I will. And uh, yeah, um, 
So looking forward to play with those changes tomorrow. I'm assuming it's going to be morning. So we're going to see how that changes the gameplay. Uh, and just to remind you guys, I already said this once during this video, but no one, absolutely no one, ever complained that Viper and Harbour give you an audio cue where the wall is going down or where the smokes in general are going down. No one complained about that. So, yeah. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're going to see each other um, on the stream and YouTube video comments, right? So leave a like and subscribe if you like the video. Bye-bye.